Hey guys, this is Matt Core from ControlPaint.com, and today we're going to talk about straight lines. Now this might not seem like a big deal, but I would call this one of the fundamentals of getting used to just the mechanics of drawing. But as a quick reminder, if you look below the post, you'll find links for free brushes and worksheets, as well as in-depth premium series available in the Control Paint store. So let's take a look at different ways that you can draw straight lines in Photoshop. Now the most basic is simply getting out the brush tool and pulling straight lines from the elbow and shoulder. Now I didn't have any mechanical aids there, I simply drew a straight line. And this is a lot harder than it looks. It'll take you a fair amount of practice to be able to do this. So if you can't do it at first, don't get discouraged. And I should say that there's certain angles that it's harder to draw straight lines on. And if that's the case, I will rotate the document and then draw the lines in the angle that is comfortable. And then at any time you can just hit escape and you're back to the original rotation. The next method, still using the brush tool, is to click and shift click. And what this does is it gives you sort of like a little temporary ruler, sort of like drawing by connecting the dots. And as you can see, it's very quick and easy to use, but it does have this fade on it. And sadly, if you're using a brush that has opacity control to it, you're not going to be able to turn this fade off. It's just the way Photoshop works, and it's pretty frustrating. So sometimes you might have to build up a line by going back and forth and darkening it up. Either way, the click-shift-click method absolutely has its place and is easier to control every time than drawing freehand lines. The next method is to use the Align tool. And this is hidden here underneath the Shape tool. You can determine its weight, which is sort of the width of the line, and I'll say two pixels. And then there are three options over here. Two of them are vector, but I'm just going to do the one that is only the fill. So this means it has nothing to do with vector. It's just going to draw me anti-aliased lines. So I click and drag, and as soon as I let go, I have a line. So I can do that as much as I want, and I have my lines. So this is good for a couple reasons. First, it is really nice for doing long parallel lines. For instance, if I wanted to draw a freehand line that was parallel to this, it might be kind of a challenge. I might have to try a number of times, and depending on how long the line is, I just might miss it completely. So in this case, I'll often use the line tool, because I can start at one point, and make sure that it's visually parallel before I let go. And then when I like it, I confirm and I have my line. Now as I zoom in here, you can see that even though it's anti-aliased, as these lines get thinner, they look a little bit jagged. They don't have a smooth organic quality that a hand-drawn line would. They're just not quite as nice as the brush tool in that regard. Also, the ends are squared off. And especially when you're doing wide lines, like this one's 10 pixels, you can really tell that the ends are squares. Again, it's got pros and it's got cons. So I'll find that I use the line tool a lot less than I use the brush tool. But oftentimes when I need to have a long, careful line, usually ones that are skinnier, this is when I'll use the line tool. So ultimately, your best control is going to be with hand-drawn lines. They are the most difficult. So I'd suggest practicing just drawing lines. How long of a straight line can you make? Maybe what is the most comfortable angle for your shoulder to make straight lines at? Can you pull perfectly vertical lines? What about horizontal? You'll find that some angles are just easier for you to do than others. And once you find the comfortable angle, the canvas rotation will help you make any line you need to based on that angle. If you're using traditional paper, it's even easier. Then you just rotate the paper with your hand. Now, I'm not going to tell you that this is easy. In my opinion, it's easier to draw freehand on paper with a pen or pencil than it ever will be on a computer. There's always going to be a disconnect if you're using a tablet. But digital brings so much more to the table. As you've seen, there's undo and filters and all these other options that bring it above the level of traditional drawing. 
So in my opinion, even though it's harder to draw a straight line or to do freehand sketching right on your computer, it's worth figuring it out. Now, if you liked the video, make sure to click the like button at the bottom of the post. I'm counting on you guys to spread the word. Thanks for coming to Control Paint, guys.